Welcome back, kickboxers. It's Lisa with ILKB. I'm bringing you today a 15 minute home workout, full body today. So I hope you guys are ready. Try and clear any distraction, grab your water, and let's get right into it. We're gonna start today with lateral hops. Let's go side to side with these lateral hops. Stay light on your feet. Just using the balls of your feet to shift back and forth. You don't wanna put your whole foot on the ground. Try and keep your hands up. We're going into squats in three, two, and one. Squat it out. Remember to keep that chest nice and upright. I always say that. It's a great reminder because a lot of times people tend to bend at the, at the waist and then they wind up hurting their lower back. Always think about sticking that chest out. We're going to add an in and out to these squats in a couple seconds. Just as so. Three, two, and one. So we're going to squat it out. Tap in the middle, squat it down, tap in the middle. Remember, as your legs come out, your body's coming down. In and out, squats. Couple seconds, we're gonna go to shadow boxing, jab, cross, four, three, two, and one, jab, cross. Now we're gonna transition quickly. That's the whole idea, to go from one exercise to the next exercise. So, unless you gotta grab an inhaler, grab some quick water, you guys should be shuffling right through this nice and quick. We're gonna drop down for basic push-ups. Five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it down, basic push-ups. Remember, exhale as you guys are pushing up. Couple seconds, we're gonna flip this right onto your backs. Again, quick transition from this push-up. We're gonna flip it right over and we're gonna go right into bicycles. You guys got five, four, three, two, and one. Just roll it right over, roll it right over. Go right into those bicycles. Side to side, get that elbow to that opposite knee. You guys got a couple more seconds here. We're gonna go into seal ups. I want you guys to drop your bodies down and we're gonna pulse right here in three, two, and one. Seal ups. These are isolating your tricep. Make sure your elbows are facing directly behind you when you do this. Keep those hips on the ground. From here, we're gonna pop it up and go right into mountain climber steps, keeping those backs nice and level. Pull those knees all the way into your chest. Use those abs. Three, two, and one. Mountain climber steps. Pull them in, pull them in. Nice and quick. I want you guys to really pick up the pace here. We're gonna bring it to our feet in a couple seconds for fast feet, but you guys gotta pull those knees in. Work it real hard now. Last five seconds coming up, push it hard. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it up, fast feet, fast feet. Move them nice and quick. Now we're gonna go to squats again, but this time we're gonna go into a jump squat. So you guys are gonna bring it down like you do your regular squat and jump up. Land in that squat. Four, three, two, and one. Jump squats, let's go. As you guys land, sink your butts nice and low and then launch up. I want you guys to get a nice amount of air between you and the mat. All right, so this is not a jump squat. Really get that height. A couple seconds, we're gonna sit it down we're gonna bring our bodies up and clap under our legs, alternating in four, three, two, and one. So kind of like a runner sit up, we're bringing our bodies up, but instead of twisting, we're gonna clap under that leg. Make sure you guys are breathing. You guys are really gonna feel these in the abs. When you do the runner sit ups, you're working more obliques. Here we're working more of those center abs. Sit up and clap, here we go. We're gonna flip it back over in a couple seconds. We're gonna go into wide arm push-ups. Make sure your fingers are facing outward. Four, three, two, and one. Here we go, make those arms nice and wide and those fingers are gonna point outward, not forward. As you guys do this, you're gonna feel it in your chest. You're gonna feel it a lot in your back. Your wide arm push-ups really trigger a lot of muscles in the back. A couple seconds, we're gonna bring it back up. We're gonna lateral hop, keeping it light on our feet. Make sure you guys are breathing as you push up. Bring it up in four, three, two, and one. Lateral hops, lateral hops. So these may seem silly to some of you perhaps, but believe it or not, this helps you work on rhythm and balance, which is all super important in kickboxing. And again, I like to incorporate keeping my hands up because I like that to be second nature when I get to the bag. I don't ever want to drop my hands. So any exercise I can incorporate that in, I do it. This way it's second nature to keep those hands up. 
We're gonna go back into those squats. Again, keeping that chest nice and upright. Four, three, two, and one. Basic squats. As you do these, you're putting all of your weight in your heel, pushing up through that heel, squeezing your glutes at the top. If you guys cannot wiggle your toes, odds are your body's facing forward. Shift it back like you're gonna sit on something invisible behind you. In a couple seconds, we're gonna add that in and out to those squats, just like this. Touching that ground in between. Four, three, two, and one. In and out squats. Try and really touch that ground. Try and get full palm to the mat if you can. It's gonna ensure that you're bringing your body all the way down. You guys are gonna feel that tremendously in that lower body. We're gonna bring it back up in a couple of seconds. We're gonna go right back to shadow box. And remember, quick transitions right from these in and out squats. We're going right to our stance for shadow boxing. Three, two, and one. Give me that shadow box, jab cross. Full extension on those arms every time. We're gonna drop back down now, working that upper body again with those push-ups. Try to give me that first one on your toes. If you're used to doing them on your knees, that is. Four, three, two, and one. Let's go basic push-ups. Now, if you're a beginner and you can't do them like I just mentioned and you're doing them on your knees, that's okay. But please make sure that you are extending your body fully out. You shouldn't be here when doing your push-ups because it winds up as a neck up and then we're not working any of the appropriate muscles to get you guys up to doing those on your toes. Couple seconds, flip it on your back, cycling out again. Four, three, two, and one. On your back, cycle it out. You guys are taking that elbow and you guys are reaching into that opposite knee, side to side. So here we're working the obliques, those are the sides of the abs. The more you twist and the more you can straighten out that leg, the more you guys are working those abs. Couple seconds, we're gonna isolate those triceps again. We're gonna turn it over and we're gonna do those seal ups, keeping our arms nice and tight. Four, three, Two, and one. So this time I'm gonna do it facing the camera so you guys can see where my arms are. Biggest mistake is people are out here. Bring those elbows in. You should feel your body against your arm as you're pulsing. Concentrate on that tricep. All right, that's a large part of your arm. If your bicep is gonna look good, your tricep has to look good to get a nice, well-rounded looking arm. We're gonna pop it up for those mountain climber steps in three, two, and one. So bring it right up, right into that mountain climber step. Again, use your abs. Bring those knees as far into your chest as you can. The further in you bring them, the more you're gonna work those abs. You guys are also gonna notice you're feeling this a lot in your shoulders. If you do, you are doing it correctly. Couple seconds, we're gonna shake it out with fast feet. I'm gonna bring it up, I'm gonna keep those feet nice and close to the mat. Four, three, two, and one. Fast feet, fast feet. Keep it moving. Jump squats are next. Again, like the regular squat, keep that chest nice and upright. Think about sticking it out so that your back can be nice and aligned. All right, you don't want to bend over. Keep it here and landing in that squat. Four, three, two, and one. Jump squats. Again, launch nice and high. You want to try and aim for as much height as you can get. So don't chintz out because it's, you got to do so many of these. You're not doing so many of these. Here I want quality versus quantity. So make sure they're good. You want to work the muscles appropriately so that you guys can get stronger and get leaner. Going for that sit up with that clap again in four, three, two, and one. Again, pulling that knee in as your body comes up, clapping underneath that knee, underneath that leg. Try and pick up the pace now. Pick it up. We're going to flip it over and work that upper body again with those wide arm push ups in four, three, Two and one, wide arm push-ups. Remember your arms are going out wider than your body, nice and wide. Fingertips are pointing outward, not forward. And again, you're gonna feel this a lot in your back as well as your chest. Keep pushing, exhale as you push up. Keep that back nice and level like you would any other push-up. Nothing changes here as far as that's concerned. We're gonna bring it up to our feet again for one more set of lateral hops. You guys got five, four, three, Two and one, last time with these lateral hops, last time. <sighs> Keep it light on your feet, light on your feet, side to side. Now we've got another set of squats coming up. I want you to focus on all these things, keeping that chest upright, keeping all the weight in your heels in four, three, two, and one. Here we go, chest is upright, all of my weight is in my heels. As I do these, I'm point making sure that my knees are pushing out 
as I'm coming up as opposed to coming in. Push those knees out. A couple more seconds. We're going to add that in and out. Four, three, two, and one. So we're turning those squats into in and out squats. Again, tap in the middle, jump out. Tap in the middle, jump out. Touch the ground every time. Again, that's going to help you drop that body, making sure your body's getting low enough to the ground. We're going to shake it out one more time with that shadow boxing in four, three, two, and one. Last time with the shadow box right here. This is the last time we're going through these exercises, guys. And then we are done. We've worked out our entire body. Shadow box, shadow box. Dropping it down for regular push ups in a couple seconds. Again, you guys want to exhale on the push up, keep those backs nice and level. If you guys are on your knees, remember, we don't want a table top back. We want to be out here. Four, three, two, and one. So again, if you're doing these push-ups on your knees, I cannot stress this enough. Make sure you're not here. Bring your body forward almost as if your abs are going to touch the ground first. That's the feeling you want. Otherwise, we're just doing what I call the neck up. We're not really working much there. Flipping it over for one more bicycles in four, three, two, and one on your backs. Come on, cycle it out. Get those legs nice and straight and close to the ground. As opposed to just kind of being here, I want you to really extend. Really extend. Get that whole leg all the way out. Again, if you have to work on form here, go a little slower. That's fine. Better to work the muscle the correct way and pick up your speed later than to just be going fast and not utilizing the muscles appropriately now. Flipping it over for those seal ups again in four, three, two, and one, here we go, isolating those triceps. Again, think about those triceps. Again, those are the muscles right back here. Keeping those arms nice and tight to your body. Pulse it out. You want to kind of drive it through the palms or the heels of your hands. We're going into those mountain climber steps one last time from here. So when I say go, we're going to bring our body up into our plank and bring those knees in. Five, four, three, Two and one, mountain climber steps. Again, a reminder, as you're doing this, to keep that level back, look forward. Look forward. If all of a sudden you start to go look at your toes, look what happens. Your back's going to come up in the air. We don't want that. Keep that back level. Keep those eyes ahead of you. We're going to bring it up to our feet in a couple seconds. We're going to shake it off with fast feet. We're going to move nice and fast. Five, four, three, two, and one. True meaning of fast feet right here. Fast. Fast, fast. Keep going, keep going. Guys, we're nearing the end. All right, we got a couple more exercises and we are done. I want you guys to go into that jump squat next. Again, as you guys land, you're landing in that squat and then launching. Same rules apply. You still want those knees to push out and you still want to land with the weight in your heels. Try and point those toes down as you jump. That might actually help you get a little more height. Here we go. Five, four, three, Two and one, jump squats, let's go. One right after the other. Jump squat, jump squat, jump squat. Try and move faster now. This is the last time we're doing these. Right now you're working the largest muscles in your body. Those are your legs. You're burning the most amount of calories when you work your legs. Stay with it, give me height. Make sure you're dropping those bodies nice and low. As you're doing these jump squats, you can even touch the ground in between if you feel it's gonna help keep your body to the ground. We got that sit up with that clap again in four, three, Two, and one, sit up with that clap. Again, sitting your whole body up and clapping. If you're having a problem with this, you guys can give me crunches. If your abs are not developed enough or you know, you're just, uh, just starting this, you're a newcomer, give me those crunches, move fast, make sure you're tightening those abs and we'll get you to doing that clap with that sit up. Keep moving. We got wide arm push ups coming up. We're gonna work that upper body and then we have one more full body workout and we are done. So wide arm push ups in three, Two and one. Remember, hands go out to the side, east and west. And then we're going to drop our bodies down. As you do this, I want you guys to think about your back muscles. You guys feel that? Feel it in your back. Exhale as you push up. Remember, next workout is our last workout. It's a full body workout. So I want you guys to go nuts, go crazy. Get in as many as you can. Push it. You guys should be wiping sweat out from under your eyes when you guys are done with this last workout. Remember, it's only 15 minutes, so we have to make it explosive. Put in everything you got. We got burpees in four, three, two, and one. Burpee it out. Here we go. We're going to plank it out. Bring the feet to the outside of that wrist and jump up. Just like we did with our jump squats, I want you guys to get as much height as you can on these burpees here. 
A lot of air between your feet and the mat. Come on, this is the last exercise. I'm gonna count you guys down. As I go from number to number, I want you to move faster. Here we go, 10, nine, eight, speed it up. Seven, this is it, come on, six, five, don't give up, four, work through that one, three, two, don't stop, don't stop, one. Nice job. If you guys have been following the videos, I've been really encouraging you guys to push through when I say number one, because everybody has a tendency. When I go three, two, you anticipate that one, so you stop. So what we're doing is we're training our minds to go above and beyond to push through that plateau. So when I'm done and I reach that one, you guys should just be finishing up whatever it is. With that in mind, that's how I want you to do all your workouts all the time. Trust me, you guys are gonna see the results. Until next time.